No. You better give me the book, book of, of Job, Job quickly, son. That's right. Amen. I want to talk about the wealthy folk. That's Amen. Right. You get wealthy now, but in a moment, God pour you right down to the grave. Job 21 and verse 13. Follow me in your Bible. They spend their days in wealth. I want to, I want to cram scriptures on you. Oh, yeah. Amen. What time I have left. They spend their time. They spend their days. In wealth. Being rich. And in a moment. What? In a moment. How quick? In a moment. Please tell the viewers what happened in a moment. Go down to the grave. In a moment. How do they spend their days? They spend their days in wealth. And what happened? And in a moment, go down to the grave. You got your yacht? Hallelujah. With a bunch of looking hookers on it, mm. making your videos. That's right. Amen. With their half naked bikinis, shaking their behind for the camera to sell your records. That's right. So you exploit young girls. That's right. Who are doing anything for a dollar. They spend their days in wealth. Got gold all over your teeth. Yeah. And got a mansion and no one living there but you. That's right. Amen. Something. Amen. Amen. I mean, if you want a mansion, that's your business. Yeah. If you work for it, that's your, business. that's your business. If you want a yacht and work for it, that's your business. That's your right. That's right. But I'm taking this route to show you after you get it, yeah. you can't take it with you. That's right. You might as well come along and serve God with it. That's right. Huh? They spend their days in wealth. Spend their days in wealth. Yeah. And hallelujah. Glory to God while you're rich. And in a moment, in a moment go down to the grave. I realize that. I mm. see. That. See that I understand that. That's right. That's why I refuse to get caught up in any blessing that God mm. gives me. Go ahead. Amen. I don't care what it is. Go ahead. Man. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. There's Amen. nothing Amen. that God has ever placed in my hands Wonderful. that I got caught up in. Amen. You know why? I know where it came from. Yeah. And I know where it's going. That's right. And when you keep that priority right, yeah. you you'll keep God at the top of your agenda. That's right. Over to God, and you will keep Him there. Right. You know how many men is puffed up and exhausted with the church not even half this size. Amen. Not even half the size of our lower auditorium. Yeah. Puffed up like a blowfish. That's right. And ain't got nothing to be puffed up about. That's right. When you understand, nigga, you came in the world, nigga, you shall return. And all praises is due unto God. You, oh, yes. You'll come back to reality. Oh, yes. You better read quick, son. They spend their days in wealth. Spend their days in wealth. And in a moment go down to the grave. What is it? Therefore they say unto God. Oh, look how arrogant they are. This is the way many rich folk think and many high-minded folk think. Look at what they say to God. Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. Leave me alone. For we desire not the knowledge of thy way. I don't want to be holy. What is I don't want to learn nothing about no Jesus. That's right. I don't want to hear right. no Bible. That's right. That's right. Ain't nobody gonna control my life. That's right. That's right. That's you, Miss Thing. Yeah. Amen. That's you, Mr. Thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Have your fun now. That's right. Have your fun now. You go ahead. You know, you're like a person, amen, that done robbed the bank and you got police chasing and you're laughing and driving and driving. And you saying to yourself, why in the world are they driving so slow? You burning up your fuel. That's right. Driving, burning up your fuel. Next thing you know, a tire get flat. And now you just keep driving, never tire get flat. Yeah. You weaving and dodging and thought you got away from them. Thank God, but now a helicopter's overhead looking at you. Oh, he right. done made a right turn on Main Street. He done <laughs> went down it. Now he's at 67th Street. Oh, he's stuck now. That's right. He's stuck now. He, his engine is out now. He <laughs> jumped out the car, hopping fence, and now behind that fence is a pit bull. He done jumped back over the street. <laughs> That's right. That's true. Hey! That's right. Run it! Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, you're running. And that's yeah. what you're doing now. Oh, yeah. And man, you're running. I want to educate you. I want to educate you real good. You're self-centered, self-righteous, arrogant thing. I don't care what none of you have. <laughs> Hey man, I don't care if your bed is so big, it's 2,000 square feet even. My Lord. Hey man, until you need the fire department every night and they ladder to go up in the air just for you to get in your bed. My Lord. Or you got to be dropped in on your pillow from a helicopter. Amen. What do I care? That's right. You bear this thing in mind, your little house, even if it's a mansion or a yacht, anything under the sun. I, you see, I believe in taking a Bible approach <laughs> towards right. life. That's right. And when you take a Bible approach towards life, anything God gives you, it'll never have you. You will have it, That's but it'll right. never have you. That's right. You will understand that when God take you, you can't take none of the material yeah. blessings with you. That's right. And you get caught up. Sometimes some 
People say, when I get money, uh, you won't know who I am. That's an admission. You's a fool. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's you, right. If any man or any woman ever tell you, when I get money, you won't know who I am. Yes, I will. You a fool. Amen. That's I will right. know you a fool. That's right. Huh? That's because right. Because if money make you stop being a sister, money make you stop being a brother. See, a person talk like that is not used to money. Yeah. Amen. So in their mind, they still a bum. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. I mean, they, 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 they still right. mentally, they still a bum. That's right. They still weak. In fact, the money made them more simple. That's right. More arrogant. They become, they become braggish. That's right. And arrogant. Now they think they're doing you a favor by being in your presence. You no better than that dung that dropped from a cow to fertilize land. <laughs> That's right. Because you soon be planted in the dust to fertilize the earth and the worms will consume your pockets. That's right. Hey! That's right. What is that? They spend their days in wealth. I'm taking this root that slap the arrogance right out of your mouth. That's right. You can look at some folk they got the chew on, they chew on arrogant gum just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, brother? Yeah. yeah. That's right. How you doing, sister? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Chewing on arrogant gum, and yeah. here we come with the word of God straight from heaven. Pile! Yeah. And you're like, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Knock the slow motion out of you. Slow motion, that's right. I ain't impressed with nobody. I know millionaires. Amen. I know millionaires that watch the program. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we talk. Amen. I know millionaires, but they, and I had some tell me. Uh, they call me Reverend Jennings because they don't know no better. Okay. I mean, one millionaire white brother, he said, you, you really not impressed with nothing, are you? I said, no. <laughs> I said, no. I said, let me tell you uh, something, uh, brother. When you die, you're going to change colors. You're going to get ashy. <laughs> That's Amen. Right. I, I don't write to his face. I say, when you die, you're going to get ashy. And, Amen. Your, your heart won't be able to function. You won't be able to see none of your money. That's right. Nothing. You won't be able to enjoy your house, your cars, nothing. nothing. You will be planted in the dust. And when you stand before God, the only thing you have to offer him mm -hmm. is the cars you collected in the house you got. And no holy, That's sanctified right. life, you're going to be dropped in hell. That's right. Oh, yeah. I don't care. Go ahead, man. Go I'm ahead. Go and take off. Hallelujah. Let's be God. Go ahead. I don't care what nobody has. That's right. Nobody. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. I mean Preach it, nobody. Man. I don't care what you have. That's right. Because the Bible said they spend their days their in wealth. Days in wealth. And in a moment. And in a moment. Go down to the grave. You go, you die. Oh, That's yeah. right. And Therefore they say unto God. This is your attitude, Miss Self Righteous. This is your attitude, Miss Self Righteous. Mr. Self-Righteous, because you got some little name brand glasses and little <laughs> name right. brand shoes and little Brook Brothers Brooke suit Brooke. and Brook Brothers overcoat and uh, Stacey Adams and ahead, Pierre brother. Cardin belt and, uh, and Cracker Jack box, Cracker Jack box cufflinks and, <laughs> right. and, and, and Walmart glasses and what do I care? <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, man. Dumb, ignorant, hell-deserving thing. Amen. You're so full of hell. Oh, yes. And then you teach your children and your wife got a dirty, snotty nose up in the air. Mm. I'm better than any time you ain't living holy, you not better than a dog. That's right. In fact, let me say this. When you're not living holy, a dog is better than you. Better than you. You know, someone say, well, how can you say that? Because a dog life, a dog is not disobedient to God. That's right. The dog is doing exactly what God made it to do. That's right. But God made man for his glory. Yeah. And when that man failed to give God the glory, that dog is better yeah. than you. That's right. Yeah. They spend their days in wealth. They spend their days in wealth. And in a moment, go yeah, down to the grave. My children are successful and get rich, and then can't, uh, and then going to disown me as their father and disown my wife as their mother, then my children ought to die and go to hell. That's right. And I pray that God make them bankrupt and they lose everything, everything, <laughs> until they down to leaves. Don't even have draws. My Lord. Down to leaves. <laughs> and, amen. Until God do them like he did Nebuchadnezzar. Right. Nebuchadnezzar, you know, sometimes it takes God to slap you down. Yeah. And then your understanding come back to you. Because right. a lot of times people were faithful to God before they had. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's true. If 
You work and get a Bentley, fine. Try to church with it. That's right. That's okay. right. Well, if you work and you pull up in a Maybach, Amen. fine. Amen. Better still read. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Amen. In other words, you want to be saved so that not even materialism yeah. affect your spiritual development. That's right. Nothing. No. Hallelujah. 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 Nothing I said. That's right. Nothing. That, that's why you got to be stand. You got to stand, stand fast. fast. Stand fast. Oh, yes. You got to include fasting yes. so you can stand. stand. Because right. God, when God brought you out the world, he liberated you. He fought for you. That's right. He got the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God he got the devil off your back. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Get the devil off your back. Now you can run towards him. Hallelujah. But now you got to fight to stay with him. Oh, yes. Amen. When I hear men and women talk, brag about what I got this, I got that, I ain't never had this, I ain't never had that. When money changes you, use a buffoon. That's and a buffoon. I'm telling you, right then, your life is being threatened by the hand of God. That's right. Amen. God will smite your house and burn it down. That's right. Take your business and fold it up. Amen. Amen. Take everything you have. I'm telling you oh, what yes. you think Nebuchadnezzar example is for. That's right. Nebuchadnezzar was a king. Some of us ain't got no throne. We just got an easy boy, a lazy boy chair. Amen. And we puffed up inside ourselves in that. I don't care what nobody has. No. Nobody. I'm so glad God made me like this. That's wonderful, brother. I am. I'm so glad God made me like this. That's wonderful. Because if God, if God would not have made me like this, and I, I would be high-minded and exalted. And I'm glad uh, God made my wife the same way. Wonderful. Amen. You know, a woman loves nice things, but because a woman loves nice things, that don't mean she's a materialist. That's my right. wife is not a materialistic person. I couldn't marry a materialistic woman. Amen. No, because a materialistic person is greedy. Yeah. And when you can't afford to do something, they'll rise your back. When am I going to get this? When am I going to get that? When am I going to get the almost preaching? When am I going to get the other? Ha. When am I going to get this? Ha. When am I going to I don't want that. That's right. No, sir. That's right. Not that. Not that. Mm -mm, not that. No. When a woman is a materialist, she'll try to push that husband to go out there to venture out above his means. Yeah. And when he's weak, he'll put his money out there for what he can't afford. Then it'll backfire on him, and then he'll lose everything. That's right. A wise man don't try to keep up with nobody. No. Yeah. Hey Amen. When a man is wise, he don't try to keep up with nobody. nobody. Nor would he try to buy something to impress anyone. Yeah. When a person tried to impress something, that's the mindset of a child. That's when right. you came up and had a truck, you want to impress your friends. You know, I, you want your bike is better than theirs. Yeah. And so you try to pop as many wheelies as you can. Or you, you look at the Hot Wheel cars and your Hot Wheel cars and your truck. Why? Trying to impress. Yes. Amen. When you're like that, you got the mindset of a child, even if you are an adult. That's right. Amen. I ain't trying to impress nobody. I don't care what you got or what you don't got. Only thing I want you to have is God and salvation. That's it. So you don't go to hell. That's it. Eh? All right. They spend their days in wealth. Praise the name of the Holy Father. Right. Amen. Blessed be God. They spend their days in wealth. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. But what? And in a moment. How quick? In a moment. In a moment. Go down to the grave. I, was, I, I, I can appreciate the, if God made a uh, shade, a millionaire, and all of a sudden he changed up on me. Well, Pastor Jennings, I, don't, I, I can't travel with you. Why? Well, because, you know, I, I, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do the other. I'm going, I'm going to Hawaii. I'm going to Acapulco. I'm going to Mexico. <laughs> you know, I'm going to Africa. I'm like, where are you going there? Well, you know, I couldn't afford these places. So uh, and all of a sudden missing every convention and all that stuff. I pray that God put a hole in everything he got. Oh, that's right. Because there's nothing under the sun that's greater and more important than serving your Lord. That's right. That's right. I am a living witness. If you put God first, Hallelujah. he promised that's right. he will open up oh, yes. the windows of heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he say, you pour your out the earth again. Hallelujah. Pour your out. Go ahead. Blessings. Blessings. Thank God that you won't have room, room enough to receive. To receive. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God promised it. Oh, yes. 
Amen. But when I meet up on a man, and I know men and women that are like this. Amen. There's no way, there's no way I would buy a house for myself for a half million dollars. And yet I got a church that's about to cave in. No way. No. Even I, I'm talking about out of my own pocket. That's right. I won't do it. That's right. Even if I can afford it. Yeah. If I got it, if I, I wouldn't buy a house for three million dollars. And yet I got a church. The windows is boarded up. <laughs> I got about fifteen hundred pots on the floor to catch the leaks. Amen. There's not a love in you yeah. for God and God's work. That's right. You will neglect God's work to please yourself. Please yourself. I have neglected myself and my family for years. Wonderful. To please God and help the people of God and build a work That's right. to where it is today. That's right. And my wife can bear witness. Yeah. I have neglected myself and my family. Amen. And have done it for years. Yeah. And I bear witness of God's word that he will pull out blessings. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. That you won't yes. have room enough yes. to receive. Yes. Amen. I've, I've taught my wife and taught my children Amen. put God first. I taught my wife that before we even got married. God first. Hallelujah. God first. Hallelujah. God put that in me. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. God first. Hallelujah. That God, no one can make me believe anything that's opposite from that. God first. Okay. I tell my children, put God first. Yeah. I mean, if you're about to die, put God first. Hallelujah. If you lose your job, put God first. Hallelujah. If you're hungry, put God first. That's right. All these things shall be added unto you. Shall be added. That's right. Hallelujah. Help me, Lord. Put God first. Help me now. Go ahead, brother. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, I'm a living witness. God knows I am. And my wife is a living witness. And my children is a living witness. Wonderful. Put God first. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. Put God first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we'll take God. Hallelujah. Put God first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's been Hallelujah. time, you know, a lot of times people love to give me things. Yeah. I mean, love to give me and my wife things. There have been times people have given me thousands of dollars for me and my wife, and I've given it to the church. Wonderful. Yeah. Amen. Wonderful. Times people have given me thousands of dollars, and I have used it as a down payment for a new church Wonderful. and never told nobody. My Lord. Amen. Gave me thousands of dollars. Many churches that are set up today because the down payment came out of the pocket of my wife and myself. Of money what people gave us. And I wanted the church there so bad. I went on to use it as a down payment. And the only one know about it, uh, mostly, is my financial secretary. Yeah. She said, well, we ain't got it. I said, well, someone gave me such and such and such a thing. Here, we're going to put this on. She said, but Pastor Jenner, I said, but nothing. We're going to do God first. Wonderful. We're going to Hallelujah. take God. We're going to do God first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's wonderful. Do you regret it? No. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Wonderful, brother. Okay, brother, the reason why I don't regret it, I'm, I'm reaping today. Yes. The benefits of what God has blessed me to do. My wife is reaping as a result of it. Wonderful. My children and the church is reaping the benefits of it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Put God first. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, glory to God. Wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. They spend their days in wealth. They spend their days in wealth. And in a moment. Go down to the grave. Go down to the grave quick now. Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. Arrogant. Hallelujah. Arrogant, self-righteous, right. self-centered. That's, right. That's right. Get so high, man, to tell God. Depart from uh, us. It says, when did you get so much that you mind, your mindset is now, oh, I don't need God. Yeah. How did you get this sick mindset? I don't need God. My Lord. God ain't never did nothing for me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you breathing? Yeah. Are you talking? Go ahead. Are you eating? Yeah. Do you have a roof over your head? Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go. Glory be to God. Always remember 
you live by God permission. Yeah. Right. You sleep, hallelujah, by God permission. That's right. You walk and talk by God permission. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Glory to God. That's a, that's a rule I will live by till I die. Amen. God first. Amen. Glory to God. I, 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 I'm very blessed today. That's I wonderful. stuck to that rule. That's wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now somebody say, was it difficult? No. Wonderful. No, it wasn't difficult for me. It may be difficult for some people, but it wasn't difficult for me. Yeah. Because all blessings come from him. That's right. That's right. Being that all blessings come from him. Put God first. Wonderful. Are you listening to me? Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I tell my wife, look, I'm going to give this to the church. She'll say, well, all right, we got bills. I said, that's all right, God, make sure that you don't worry about that. That's wonderful, brother. I said, don't you worry about that. You just follow my lead. You'll be all right. Wonderful, brother. You'll be all right. I won't, I won't lead you blind. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Amen. Just follow the apostle. You'll be all right. Yes. Glory <laughs> to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Follow the apostle. You'll be all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Therefore, they spend their days in wealth. You know, sometimes it's a Hallelujah. hard concept for some people to accept because they can't see what you see. That's right. You know, so I understand sometimes there's some reluctance there or like, oh, I tell you, worry about that. Don't you worry about that. I, I tell her sometimes, you can't see what I see. That's right. She said, well, how you know? I said, yeah, you can see what Glory to God, you can't see what I say. But Jesus said, believe for the very works. That's right. And I'm telling the world, God has worked a wonder in the earth. Yes, he has. Amen. In fact, God said, I'll work a work in your day. Yeah, whereby no man shall believe, even though uh, man declare it unto declare you. Declare it unto you. God hath taught me well. Yes, he has. Put him first. And he has stand behind you. Beware, therefore. Listen at this. In the book of Acts, chapter 13, and at verse 40. Beware, Beware therefore, therefore, lest that come lest upon that you. come upon you. Which is spoken of in the prophets. Which is spoken of in the prophets. Behold, ye despisers, despise and wonder, and, and perish. perish. For I work a work in your days. Look at here. Are you hearing this? For I work a work in your days. I like a work, work in your days. A work which ye shall in no wise believe. Though a, man Though a man declare it unto you. He's telling you all about it. That's right. <laughs> oh, praise his great name. Hallelujah. And I, and, I, and I see the fulfillment of it now. Oh, so, yeah. Don't make me so about it. Go back to the book of Job. So I can knock off, knock off quickly. Come on, man. Back in Job 21, we're at verse 13. All right. They spend their days in wealth. They spend their days in wealth. And in a moment go down to the grave. Then what? Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. Don't For ever get so arrogant, so high-minded, so beside yourself. You tell God to depart from us. Depart from us. Leave you alone. You're too good for church now. Mm, no. You too good for church? Why? Because of what you have? Come on. Lord. I can drive anything under the sun and it don't change me. That's right. Amen. That's right. I don't care what it is. That's right. It won't change me at all. Wonderful. When I see my brother drive up in something, thank God I'm home. Amen. When I see my brother Kevin drive up in that beautiful Audi. He get out, he go in, Kevin, and he come out, Kevin. He, he does. He's been the same since I know him. That's right. Stay clean. Stay very clean. Oh, yes. Very mannerable. Very well, very down to earth. That's right. Amen. That's right. Not high-minded. Not arrogant. No. You know, some folk, they come off body. <laughs> you think they came by him. That's right. High-mindedness and arrogant. I hate to be around people like that. Yeah. Think there's so much you go in a person's house, your furniture too good to even sit in. That's yeah. true. How perverted you can be. That's oh. true. That's the way many of you are that are watching. Yeah. You got a china closet. You won't even you won't even eat out of those dishes. <laughs> Saving for guests, and you don't even have guests at your house. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Man, got crystal and all that stuff and won't even drink out your well this is real crystal I wouldn't care if it came from a crystal cave that's certain right. silverware you won't use I don't believe in that trap that's right I drink out of any glass in the house <laughs> Amen. and I, I, I get some nasty quick and mix it with some milk and drink it drink out it. of the crystal glass that's right what do I care I get a bowl of crystal Put some Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries in it and some milk or some cocoa for cocoa. Yeah. Pie. That's right. Eh? Amen. What do I care? Wonderful, brother. That's wonderful. And you realize that you are created for God's glory. Mm. And he made you to serve him. That's it. Hallelujah. And he 
time something in your house too good for you to use, mm -hmm. you don't need it. That's right. It's too good for you to use. That's right. You got people that have this sick, arrogant, and high-mindedness. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Save silverware for a certain a king. For what? For what? <laughs> you need it. That's right. Use it. Got a coffee pot. Need a new coffee pot. Got one sitting in the cabinet. Won't even use it. That's well, that's the special coffee pot made by such and such. And I don't want to use it. Why not? That's right. I, I want a cheaper one. You got one sitting right there. That's right. Use it. Yeah. That's right. Do you see the food stinking? Yeah. You see the ignorant thinking? Amen. I don't care if your silverware is trimmed with ivory from an elephant's tusk. <laughs> Use it. That's right. Oh, yeah. Hmm? That's right. Use it, I said. Yeah. You going to own something you can't use? Really? Or you take God, it ain't worth having. Am I right, Lulu? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I want you viewers to hear this. That's right. Real quick so I can knock off Williams. They spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave. Yeah. Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. Depart from us. For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. I had a man write me and said, you preach against people driving Rolls Royce. No, I don't. I preach against people stealing to get something. That's right. That's right. You get a few work to buy Rolls Royce, that's not your business. That's your business. You got that right. You work hard, you can buy any car you want. That, that's your business. Okay. You work hard, you can buy any size house you want. That's your business. That's right. What I preach against is when you break the law to get it. That's it. That's it. When you break the law to get what you're doing, you're you going to go to hell. That's right. And you don't deserve what you got. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. The opportunity presents itself to break the law. Don't be tempted to break it. That's right. Because the Bible said obey magistrates. That's right. Any money you got, you broke God's law to how hell you go. That's right. So he that getteth riches and not by right. Hear this. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 11. He that get riches. And not by right. Not by right. Shall leave them in the midst of his days. You're going to leave them in the midst of your days. And at his end. At his end. Shall be a fool. Oh, glory to God. At his end, he's going to be what? At his end shall be a fool. He's going to be stupid. <laughs> That's right. All over, he's gonna be stupid. That's right. A fool. A fool. Finish up Job real quick now. Back in Job 21 and verse 14. Yeah. Therefore they say unto God, Depart from us. They say to God, Please get away from us. For we desire, we desire not the, the knowledge, knowledge of, of thy ways. ways. What is the Almighty? Look at the arrogance. Look at the attitude. What is God? That we should serve him. And that's the way people think? Oh, yeah. yeah. What is God that we should serve him? And what profit should we what have? What shall we gain? If we pray unto if him. If we pray unto him. Lo, their good is not in their hands. You mean to tell me what you own? My Lord. You're so busy so worrying busy. about going on vacation with your wife and your children. Yeah. You don't even pray. You don't fast. You don't do nothing. That's right. That's right. You're so busy counting up your money. Oh, I got this. I got this. Who cares? <laughs> That's right. I don't care if you got as much money as a rat got cheese. Amen. That's right. Eat cheese. Amen. Now, one thing about God, I love the way he can bring you down to earth. Yes, he can. Yes, what, did he say? what is the Almighty that we should serve Him? And what? And what profit should we have if we pray unto Him? What is it? Lo, their good is their not good in their hand. Is not in their hand. The counsel of the wicked is the far from me. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. How oft is the how candle, of the, is the wicked candle put of the out. wicked put out? And how oft cometh their destruction upon them? You better repent. Repent. You will stop being a fool yeah. now, and getting caught up in what you got. That's right. If you got a mansion, if you got a, a whole collection of cars, and you work to get it, and you work by right. Not your business, and that is your right. That is not what we preach against. What we preach against is when you break the law to succeed in any area of life, Amen. and even if you got it lawfully, don't forget, it's all in vain. That's right. Acts 38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. There it is. Amen. Are you ready now, viewer? Are you ready to give your life over to God? Or are you going to the club after this webcast go off? Hmm. Or after this telecast, you go off. Which, what, what, what you going to do now? Can't make up your mind? Your girlfriend pulling on you with that whiskey? That's right. Blowing smoke in your stinking breath? Mm. Uh, mouth smell like a beer can and a whole pack of cigarettes? Yeah. Is 
a disgrace before heaven. You better hear this. Oh, yes. You that's trying to decide whether to walk with God or not, the Bible says stand fast. Stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. Be not entangled again. With the yoke of bondage. When God frees you, don't go back. That's right. The Bible says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission, For the remission of, sin. of sins. Meaning to get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Anybody want to get on God's side tonight? My joy.